Right, so this is the Linux 8, Windows 8.1 tablet. I am using the audio from the tablet itself. It, this tablet comes pre-installed with Windows 8.1. It also has a year subscription to Microsoft Office 365 Personal and the intern side. When I as I open this up, I've noticed that the there was some stuff so I just brushed off. There was some stuff on the top, so I brushed it off. On the back of the actual uh, slide on is the specification. It has a 1.8.3 gigahertz quad core Intel Atoms Z3735 F processor. As I said before, it has Windows 8.1, Office 365 Personal for a year, uh, 1 gig RAM, a 8 inch IPS. 800 by 1280 TFT LCD display. It has a two make the both the front and the back camera is two megapixels. It has a HDMI output, which is a micro HDMI. It has 32 gigs internal storage, but it can be expanded via a micro SD. The battery is a 400 milliamp hour, which should give around five to seven hours of use. I still need to test that out though. So that is, and as well, it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectability. So probably about five hours if it, if both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is on, and you're like doing basic web browsing and stuff. Now let's, let's move on to opening the box. The box is actually quite securely on since it's... I thought it was just going to be like a quite basic one, but it's pretty good. It, the tablet itself is in a plastic cover. It's pretty hard to get out, so I just got out the box first. This contains the power adapter. But it's kind of strange since it's all quite flat. And well, as you can see, it comes in two bits. That is the main charging bit, and that's the C adapter. It seems that if you you might be able to get like the other one for the adapter, other adapter, for instance, you could probably get it for the US and EU. As you can see, this is just the uh, UK head, UK charger head. And hopefully you like enjoy that little video in the right hand. This the I'm just gonna show you how this is the main adapter thingy. Only one USB since it's only really required that much. That little there's I'll show you how you actually pull it in. So you just pull it in, line it up, and then just twist it, and then it just locks into place. And you just press the lever just to release it, which would be good for travelling. Unfortunately, since it's like that, I can't exactly have multiple plugs within with a plug socket. It's be difficult with it plugging in because I was hoping it was going to go the other way and point down, not up. But then again, if it was going to point up, it'd be a lot better since the cable isn't actually that long. Now, the tablet, I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'll get to that a bit later because I'm going to show you the stuff that is underneath. This plastic bag is actually kind of like a pretty good sleeve. Uh, it, the tablet itself actually has a a screen protector. It has a screen protector on. I have left it on currently and just cut off the little tab to help you get it off just because I do not have a current screen mesh a current screen protector. The 
there is the micro SD slot on the tablet itself. There's the micro HDMI headphone port and a micro USB port. There is also a back camera and then the front camera. On this side there's the power button and volume up and down. While I was actually when I was whilst I've been having some play around with the tablet itself, I did accidentally turn the device off instead of turning up the volume. On the back there is the camera, Lin Linux logo, intern side logo, and then below is a thirty two gigs uh, gigabytes thing saying that this is this is what this product has within it, a thirty two gig SSD. There we go, I'm just gonna show you close up there you go. Two speakers that are that they don't sound like tinny. Underneath the tablet there is the USB cable and it's just micro USB, which is the same as my phone, which is pretty good. Other things, the documentation within it is the just the how to use Windows, and and this is the main user documentation. So like, how to uh, use this program, how to use the program, uh, how to use this device, and just some other additional stuff like legal there is loads of like do do's do not within it now I'm setting up Windows 8.1 I'm just accepting to the terms I have actually I'm skipping some of this since it is a bit boring so this is since it is saying like getting along personalized, so it, that was all the steps that you, there was. So personalized, I thought, hmm, I might like a word since, but then I realized I should just go back to blue. Oh, right, this is a map tab because it's I was just setting the uh, user, the actual device name, uh, which is map tab, and I did it in camel case. So here we go is word. Going, I think that's just like the, about the same blue that I started with. Now I quickly got online, and this where it says enter your c received code, and it's please wait. Before I was, you had to s sign in to use Microsoft account. Now I did create this as a separate device, set it up as a new device since I do not want it to uh, sync everything that is on my vid box. I think it's like good for backing up and stuff or just file management setting up your account hopefully the view is okay for you lot I do not have a tripod and I'm just using my webcam now hi computers restarted well tablets restarted no we should have so we're setting things up for you. It took around, I think it took five minutes. I think it took. So doing that all and just skip through this bit. The home stream. This is just what it boots up to straight away. I still need to customize it some more, but I'm going to show you something. My desktop background. This is synced with my de a background, which is on my main desktop, as you can see same desktop background currently the back the battery within the tablet is at was it uh 49 percent so it might have come with 100 percent i do not know so it may have come up like with 80 percent now the power the power mode is uh, balance and I'm just adjusting power because that is the only power setting mode available. But for me, it's fine at the moment because I'm just using basic stuff. 
currently I have, if you're wondering, I'm, my camera is actually in my, I'm holding it within my mouth, just so I could use my hands, and since it has, it has a G sensor, it can just rotate and screen rotates. I still need to install Microsoft Office, which I will be doing very soon. Now, if I go into camera, the reason why it's black at the moment is because it's the back, the front camera, the back camera. I mean, uh, that is the current date of this video, which is Friday, 9th of January, the same day that I arrived. Changing the, I was a bit unsure of how to change the camera, so I was just like, I do to do this. I don't know how to do this. Here's just the front camera video thing. I will at the end of the video. I will show you some demonstration of the video and some, so you can and have a download link to the actual video itself, so you can get a proper compare view. To change the camera, you have to swipe up at the bottom and just click change camera, which is now the front camera. So there you can see. Now, I need to just... Ins uh, I'm checking to see how the storage with it in the device is. That is just because I was thinking, yeah, I should go to download setting, but I just, I'll just do that later. The current storage, it come, since it comes with a 32 gig SSD, it has it has 23.8 gigs which is available, but then only 20.1 20 gig, 20 gigs you can actually use. But installing Chrome Net for me, I'm currently so for Office. This will just probably uh, destroy. The amount of space, so I would recommend getting a micro SD. In order to do this, you have to just sign in to Microsoft Office, do the country, region, and language, a well, country or region. I can't really find my country, so uh, there we go. There it is. I do not want Microsoft to email me because, well. I just want to try and keep my in in inbox clear. Now, when I just click sub uh, next, well, continue, it's setting up account. It's it on the next page. It allows it gives you the download, so you can just download it and well, it's let let's just let it load. So there you go, Office three sixty five personal for one PC or Mac. And one tablet. So, at the mo since I'm installing it on a tablet, I can install it on another computer, which I probably should. And just the install, which is one click install, and then just run. Currently, this is Internet Explorer, but later I did in. Currently, I have uh, Chrome installed now. Uh, so, basically, the, uh, the experience of it is pretty good, and I do recommend this product. Installing Office does actually take quite a while, but good thing is so you can just do other stuff while it's installing. Uh, that is the on-screen keyboard, it's full screen. You can also use the Windows on-screen keyboard. Bluetooth can be disabled by going onto Settings tab and like PC Settings, then Network, and just disable it. If you want to know any more about this product, or if you have any questions... Uh, let me know, and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Now, this is actually... There you go, let's skip through the thing, because there's a video that I played before. So, set off Office. And now, I'm just going to go make sure that it is installed. So, need to go to Desktop, then just... I still need to sort out the uh, start menu. So I'm going to see if Office installed. So I'm just going to slide. Ooh. 
There you go. Microsoft Office 2013. That is what this current version for it is available. I have actually used OneNote for now. Other things that I actually bought with the device is a accessories kit, which has multiple things. Which is, uh, they're both they're all male to female. There's like micro mini to micro and mini USB to uh, big the normal USB. So this is the micro USB which plugs into the tablet and well that allows me just to plug it in and then I can just I can plug in memory sticks I still need to check other things for this as well once again that socket only is can actually supply around 5 volts and the 2 amps or whatever. You can charge your phone from it as well. You can charge your phone for it which is pretty good as well. And then you can just like, but I've mainly been, for, this is actually shot of my phone and I just Bluetooth it across my tablet then I Bluetooth, then I just copied it through the network to my main desktop. This cable that I'm plugging in right now is to my external hard drive dock so I can have two extra ports although that is powered by something else. Now the as I just plug this in that just allows me to access all that stuff on the hard drive and SD card and stuff the next thing that I'm going to show you, if I just unplug this, the next thing that I'm going to show you is the my, uh, mini, mini uh, USB, which I'm not really going to use that much. But then this is the mini HDMI to HDMI, which can be used on my Vibbox desktop if I wish to have another computer, another com uh, another another monitor connected. This is the micro HDMI that I'm get, just getting out now which will so the both the micros the micro USB to USB and the micro HDMI to HDMI are used by a tablet and two of the other things are not used at the moment I'm just getting off the little protection cover on it so about the camera movement so this is quite good however I when I plug this in, uh, something you should know: if you, it would be good to have a a mouse and keyboard to just make sure that you can use the other monitor. Right. So when I plug this in, it's it'd be good to have a external Bluetooth mouse if you have it connected up to the device. When I I'm just going to connect the micro USB adapter and I can use those both fine but if I want to plug in a headphone thing I cannot actually have the micro USB to USB plugged in if I want to listen to music but I can have it while it's charging it's just because the it'd be good if the if the USB device itself was pointing the other way so that's a kind of bad design but it's not meant for the tablet itself so yeah so as you can see it just doesn't fit in because it would be better if it was that way and even if you had an extender like that the HDMI is that makes it big straight away then it won't exactly work that well Right, so another thing that I got is the case for the tablet. As you can see, it has a, a elastic uh, elastic thing holding it on. The reason why it's a little bit lopsided is because it. I just quickly put the Velcro thing back in because this vel it's on Velcro so that you can rotate it 360 degrees around. 
so when it's on when it's like standing up you can either have it horizontal which it is now or have it vertical and you can see the it has this a small amount of velcro I think it was actually meant to be on the other side but I've put it on the other side since it's a little bit better as when I close this there is the stylus holder and if I just block, close this as you can see it's, it protects the, the screen well and it's not really that bulky either now the stand itself is just like you fold the flat back and then just position it so that you can stand it up like that and it seems pretty good for me at the moment but you can't do it the other way since there are no like catches on the back for it this doesn't really say much about this since well the elastic it is easy to get out however it is quite difficult to get back in another well there is another bad thing that I didn't realize well I didn't really think about when I ordered this was that there is no back camera hole there's no back camera hole no hole for the camera so you have to be you'll be stuck with using the front camera and if you want to get it out you have to get it out in order to use the front camera you can just about see the front camera there as well so this case I do recommend as well just be careful what you order anyway guys now here is some video from the tablet so hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it was giving you the information that you acquired I do recommend this tablet and it'd be good to if I get a by the next thing that I hope I will get is a Bluetooth uh, key, uh, Bluetooth mouse or keyboard well maybe good if I had both like Bluetooth because I've been looking and they are actually pretty good which is like a Bluetooth keyboard with a touchpad which would be pretty good for me so anyway guys once again thanks for watching if you have any queries leave a comment below